If you read the Bible for spiritual insight and guidance, but you ignore and condemn the ancient proverbs of your ancestors or your elderly ones, regardless of your tribe, you are still spiritually unaware because true guidance comes from both sources. Reflecting on the wisdom of the elders can provide clarity, resolution to doubts or uncertainties, much like the feeling of excitement or enlightenment after reading the Bible, which often the Christians call touch of the Holy Spirit. I have often stated that the Bible is a spiritual book of light and guidance because it was written by the ancient people who lived long before us. Sadly, many Christians misuse the Bible using it as a weapon rather than a guide to life. This is a fundamental misunderstanding that leaves many people spiritually unaware. The Bible is powerful because of the profound insight and information it contains, and nothing more. Whenever I engage myself in reading the Bible to seeking for guidance, I usually find exactly what I need because its messages are as powerful as the wisdom of the authors. The problem with the average African is the lack of documentation of our past. The constant distraction as a man we face, both self-inflicted and external, make it difficult to concentrate and remember our history in detail, which is why documenting it is very important. If we could start documenting our own ancestral wisdom and proverbs, we would see that the reading the Bible is akin to reading our own history. Wisdom and protection do not merely come from possessing the Bible, no. The true power lies in deeply understanding its message which has the potential to transform you or protect you. I've often said that the Bible is a blueprint for living a righteous life. I call it a manner for living on earth because it was given to us by people who have experienced life in various ways and provided guidance through their writings. This is why the Ten Commandments are so significant. They offer a moral guide and compass against wrongdoings. True wisdom and protection come not merely from owning a Bible, but from understanding its message in depth, which can transform you and provide needed guidance and protection. My point is this exactly, that life extends beyond just seeing everything through a religious lens. In order to balance your spirituality, you need to relate the past and current realities of man to what that is written in the Bible. In this way, you are having a better understanding of how life works through Bible teachings. Then, if you balance your spirituality, you then see the correlation between the Bible verse that says, For I shall bless the works of your hands. Deuteronomy 28 12, and also the Hebrew proverb that says, which means dirty hands bring forth oil in mouth, which also means hard work leads to prosperity.